Hi there ladies and welcome to another video with Leslie. Uh, today I'm here to show you my uh, second design team project for the month of December for MB Treasurista and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, what this is is a shadow box card and I know that I got the tutorial from uh, someone on YouTube, and I'm sorry, but I can't remember exactly who it was, um, or I'd give them credit for, um, you know, the uh, tutorial, but um, I really liked it when I saw their video, and I wanted to make one for myself. Um, so, um, this is going to go out to a, a special friend here on YouTube, and uh, I hope she likes it, and <clears throat> so I'll tell you what I used and um, we'll go from there. So um, the pattern paper that I used was the uh, Prima Rondelle paper and I really like this stack and I got this from my Secret Santa um, this year so I'm really happy about that and I wanted to use it on a project so thank you Christy for that and let's see um, I made the base out of um, lightweight chipboard. Uh, I had first tried it with um, just like cardstock and it was too flimsy um, and I wanted it to be able to withstand mailing so I uh, decided well, I better use the lightweight chipboard. So I used that and of course the Prima Rondell paper and this is my gorgeous girl um, uh, bear hug I think is the name of her and she's super cute and I colored her in with my um, Spectrum Noir markers and I, I paper pieced sorry about that I paper pieced her uh, dress with another uh, collection or another piece of paper from the collection and I colored in the little bear and her little shoes and her stockings and I think she turned out really cute um, and I put uh, one of uh, my paper doilies in the back and this is from um, I think Joann's it's from the baking aisle um, they had some and I really liked this design so I had gotten those and let's see um, up here I used the um, this is the ruffled satin in lace and this is in black and um, then I used the pale pink um, what you can see there the pale pink um, oh goodness flat back flat back pearls there we go uh, flat back pearls from Misty store and then this is a um, um, it's not a resin piece but it's um, oh goodness plaster uh, piece that I had made of a butterfly that I had and then this is a, a, also a plaster piece here this little cute little frame and I decided to stamp my sentiment in there and it says thanks very much and um, then over here I used um, the round pearl bead spray in black and I love that and then this here is the uh, new flowers that Misty got in the store this month and they are the satin and pearl flowers and they come in black and white so I used the black one and I, I love how that matches the little beaded spray right here and they have the little beads coming out of the flower and then I also used the uh, white ribbon roses from Misty Store and then I used a couple of other pink flowers from my stash and some little pink more pink ribbon roses from my stash and then this is um, another little uh, bird uh, plaster piece that I created or yeah and then down here I um, used the mauve uh, ruffled satin lace and I love this trim and then the black 
uh, Chinese braid trim right here also. And then, um, as you can see, it has, um, it's a shadow box, so there's, you know, lots of room in there, but I just, um, just, you know, put her in there and the doily. I think that was, you know, simple enough, and then I popped the image up on Pop Dots, and then, um, it doesn't open or anything, the card doesn't, and what you do is you just, um, put your sentiment on, or your, uh, you know, your writing on the end, instead of on the inside, it just is on the back of the card. And then I used my new, um, uh, Cheerland die that I got. It's the English, uh, English one. I'm not for sure the exact name. Um, and then I just stamped sending a big thank you. And then this is another pattern, uh, paper from the, uh, collection. So that is my design team project, my second one for the month, and I really like how it turned out, and I hope um, my friend will like it uh, once she receives it. So um, thank you so much for watching, ladies, and I hope that you had a great Christmas with your families, and um, I hope you have a great New Year and a safe New Year, and I'm looking forward to... Um, showing you all kinds of new projects in the future for 2013. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.